What's up guys? I'm Amanda, the Botanical Burnett, and welcome to my channel. Can anybody else believe that March is already over? I feel like the month of March for me completely blew by like so quickly. So we're already in April, so I have to show you all the plants that I got in the month of March. March was my birthday month. My birthday is March 23rd, so toward the end of the month. So like my plant haul last year in March, I got a lot of plants. So this is kind of the case for this month too. I know that for this year, I have kind of told you guys that I'm probably only gonna get one plant a month just because of I'm like at max capacity with plants that um, I did get a few plants this month. So I'm excited to show you those. And I also will show you the wishless plant that I got. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, I know that with my plant tour, kind of brought a lot of new faces on here. So if you are new to this channel, hi, I'm Amanda. For those of you who have not seen my plant hauls before, let me just give you a quick rundown. If you have seen my plant hauls, you can go ahead and just skip this chapter. So every month I will get plants or plant supplies and I try to stick with a $50 a month budget. Last year I did a full year of plant hauls and I had a $50 budget that I tried to stick with and it was just kind of willy nilly. I bought like a lot of plants, plant supplies and it got kind of out of hand kind of quickly. So this year I'm just focusing on a certain wish list. If you guys want to see that wish list, go ahead and check out my January plant haul. That will give you all the wish list plants that I have on my wish list. I think there's about 15 to 20 on there right now. I'm not 100% sure, but I have a few on there and every month I'm going to try to check off one of those plants. I'm still going to try to stick with my $50 a month budget for now. <laughs> Really my focus for this year is to just check off some wishless plants and kind of see what I can get for, you know, $50 or a little over. As I do with my plant hauls, I will show you what plants I get as I get them and I'll kind of give you a little idea of some care routines that I've been doing or like research that I've kind of learned about the plant. And also in the corner, I will put down what each plant costs. Even if it was a gift, I'll still try to hunt down the cost and just so you guys can get an idea of how much these plants cost. Without further ado, let's get started. Let me show you all the plants that I got in the month of March. In the beginning of March, every year they do a, like an annual plant show kind of plant sale at a local botanical garden. And I have gone at least the last two or three years I try to like at least go one day. I know they do like a full weekend. So I try to go at least one day. I did not document it. I'm very sorry, everybody. I really wanted to. I think it's super cool to see like all of these plant shops that some of you may not live near. I know that being in Florida, I have a lot more variety and a lot more plant shops to kind of choose from. And some of them are like really well named like Gabriella Plants. Uh, Bros with Hose are really popular and also Equigeria. So they were all there. I don't think Gabriella Plants was there. It was just so chaotic that I just wasn't able to not only buy plants, have a bunch of plants in my hands, but also documenting. It was just, it wasn't happening. And th when I tell you that this plant show, plant sale, whatever you want to call it, is so busy, it is just balls to the wall, insane. There are people like crazy plant people like me going around trying to get the best deal. I typically try to go, so they do a Saturday, Sunday. I try to go on Sunday just so I can get maybe a better deal. You know me, I'm all about the deal. And unfortunately this year it rained all day on Saturday. So everybody who probably wanted to go on Saturday wanted to go on Sunday and it was just a madhouse. So I couldn't document that for you guys. I am sorry, but I promise next year I will try to go both days. Maybe one day I'll designate to shopping and one day I'll designate to just touring around. So you guys can kind of see, like I think it's kind of fun just to like look around. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you'll want to see for next year. So the first plant that I got in the month of March is this Anthurium crystallinium. Look how beautiful it is. <sighs> I just love this plant so much. A really quick story about this plant. I have gone the last 
like I said, two to three years. Every year I go to the same plant booth and I look at this plant. Now, when I tell you guys that like I am a patient in a sense, like if I really, really, really want that plant, I might buy it just like impulse. But I try to kind of like do the thing like you walk away and if you come back, you're like, okay, I want it kind of thing. Well, for this plant, it was one of those plants that I just could not afford. I was just like, I can't, I can't afford it. Like it's too expensive. So last year when I went, I looked at this plant, same exact size, same exact plant, like four leaves, four inch pot. They wanted about $150 for the plant, which I kind of found was a little bit pricey. So it was just too like too rich for my blood. So I just like kind of left, especially since I'm trying to stick with a $50 budget at the time, like really strict. Kinda. So I kind of passed on that the last couple of years and I just really, really wanted that plant. So this year I went to that same booth and I went to see it and it was $50, like $100 off from last year. So of course I just had to jump on it. I'm sure I could have probably found this plant for cheaper, but this was the cheapest that I have ever seen this plant go for. So I was like, I have to get that plant. Could already know. I've got several plants that I've already gone over my budget. It's okay, it's whatever. I did get some really good plants and some were gifts. I've had this for about a month actually. I got like the plants, uh, the plant sale is typically like the first week or two of March. I got this plant, I was super excited. It was the first, really the first booth, the first like stop that I made in the Thing, so I already was like feeling good and I'm like, okay, we're gonna get some good plants We're gonna get some really good plants this month for care. I have this actually on my plant shelf I try to keep the humidity about 50 to 60 percent. It's an anthurium So they really like a lot of humidity. I really I mean, I've only watered it in you know the month that i've had it like twice maybe three times it seems pretty easy so far i haven't had any new growth but i do have like a stem right here that's you know, we're probably gonna get a new leaf in the next couple of weeks i'm just like so excited for this plant and i can't wait to see it grow and get big like look how big that one leaf is like i'm just so in love so in love but this is the first purchase of March and let's go on to the next one. I'm, you know, I'm continuing to walk around this plant sale and I come across the Bros with Hose tent and I'm like, oh, I, I haven't actually gotten to go into the store. I just haven't had a chance. I do live close by, I just haven't <laughs> gone over there. So I was excited to see them and I'm like, I have to get something from them. Cause like, you know, I follow them on Instagram and stuff and I see all their like plant hauls and stuff. So I was like, I gotta get something from them. So I saw this and this is the next plant. And that is this philodendron silver sword. Okay, please don't Please don't judge me on the state of this poor silver sword. My sister was actually in town for a week and a half. And then after that, my husband's sister and brother-in-law and nieces were in town. So we've just had family in town for the last two weeks and my plants have kind of uh, been a little neglected. My plant uh, chores video was probably the last time they all got watered, which was like two weeks ago. <laughs> so this silver sword, I just watered it. The planter is really wet. I just watered it. It will perk back up, I promise. <laughs> I mean, it's cute. And I actually got this cute turtle planter. I'll spin it around so you can actually see like the detail of it. But I got this cute turtle planter and it fit the silver sword pretty well. I mean, obviously once it grows a little bit more, I'll probably want to repot it just cause it's gonna, it's gonna climb. And I think it might be weird in a turtle planter. I actually kind of want to get the, um, the string of turtles. I think it would be cute in this. But for now, it's cute in the planter. I thought the color went well with the planter, but <laughs> who knows. But I do have a little new growth coming up here. So I got this for $10. Again, this was also a situation where I <laughs> went last year and I, see I saw these 
silver swords all over the place. Like one this size was like easily $50 last year. So I was like, you know what? Like I saw it for $10 and I'm like, I'm just gonna grab it. I wanted to buy something from them. So I got it and I wound up actually like, we had only gone through half of the plant sale and I wound up finding like a bigger pot for like $12. So it's, I mean, it's fine, it's whatever. I know that these silver swords actually grow pretty well. So hopefully it'll be <laughs> that size by, you know, maybe next year. She's cute, I don't know. She's very thirsty, but it's all right. It happens. She'll perk back, back up, I promise. And also the planter that I got is from Target and it was only $3. I got it in like the dollar section, which if you haven't been over to Target, uh, you need to go over there because the planters that they have, they have all their spring stuff out and their planters are in that dollar section are so good, I'm telling you. Like you'll see another planter that I got, spoiler alert, but um, you'll see another planter that I got and I'm like, oh, I have to go back and get more. We walked around the plant sale more and I was kind of like after I bought <laughs> the um, anthurium and the philodendron, I was like, okay, like, <laughs> I'm done, I've spent like $60, so let's cool it off. And um, I walked into another booth and I saw a plant that I just had to get. <laughs> so the next plant that I got was this Peperomia tarragona, or the parallel Peperomia, I've heard it be called as well. This is just, oh, I love this Peperomia. So for those of you who don't know this, I absolutely love super stripy foliage. I just, I don't know why, I just gravitate toward it more than like kind of standard foliage. I just love like the stripiness of these leaves. They're just so pretty. This Peperomia is what had been on my wish list for a little bit. It wasn't actually directly on my wish list wish list, but it was a plant that I actually had to take off my wish list to add like a different plant just because I kept seeing this plant and it would have like a like a one inch cutting or like a small like two inch pot going for like 10 to 20 dollars I was like it's kind of a little too much for me like I know it's only 10 to 20 dollars but like for a tiny little plant like that I got this plant for six dollars it was from a shop I can't remember the name of it I'm really bad with that but it's from a shop that I bought from last year I bought my anthurium hookery which was actually my first anthurium that I ever got so I decided to give them another go um their prices are really good that's actually where I saw the 12 dollar silver sword whatever. But yeah, this actually sits in a northeast facing window, kind of sits like on a hanging planter because I want this to like trail down. Also, I'm a huge fan of trailing plants. So this was like, I had to get it. Between this and a Calithea orbifolia, and I was like, oh, which one do I want? Which one do I want? They're both $6. And the girl I was with, she's like, you need to get this because Calitheas are just a nightmare. <laughs> so I'm like, you're right. I can always get Orbifolia anywhere, but this I haven't seen really anywhere. I've only watered it twice, just like the um, Anthurium. So I can't really tell you too much what growth, like how care-wise. I mean, it's a Peperomia, so it's going to be fairly easy to grow. So that is my last plant that I got at the plant sale, plant show or whatever. So the next couple of plants you'll see are plants that I actually got as a gift. So of course my birthday was the end of March. My sister, my brother-in-law, and my new niece were down. So it was really cool to show them around Florida and stuff. And we wound up going to a local nursery and they wound up getting me like two plants. So these next two plants, I will put up how much they are, but these are actually gifts. So the first plant that I grabbed at this plant nursery was this pitcher plant. So I probably need to cut this one little guy off right here, but it only has one pitcher, but it's a pretty healthy pitcher in my opinion. Like it looks really good, but uh, it's so cute and tropical. I've wanted a pitcher plant for a while. It was actually on my wishlist plant, but kind of like an honorable mention in my wish list. But I've been wanting a pitcher plant for a long time, or really a carnivorous plant. 
I've had here and there issues with fungus gnats and apparently these are supposed to be good for that. I don't know. I actually looked into the picture and I think I had seen some in there. Maybe I just imagined it, but I don't really know a lot about it. I really don't. I've been doing a lot of research. I know that they're kind of a tropical plant, so they like a lot of humidity. It's in like a really like dense cocoa core kind of potting soil. So I just basically kind of just repotted it in this pot. Also likes full sun, which I've learned. So it sits in my southeast facing window. It sits in the window, so it has um, room for it to hang and grow these pictures, but other than that, I haven't had it very long. Um, I've only watered it once um, since I've had it, but I'm just really excited to see like more pictures grow on it. It did, I did notice like sometimes in the, when you're in it, when you're at the plant shop, you don't always notice certain things, but I did notice this is, does have black sooty mold on it, which could be a sign that it, it could have some pests on it. So I'm still keeping an eye on it. Um, and just kind of making sure I did treat it already. I haven't seen anything. I did only see like, like actual spiders, not spider mites, but like spider spiders on it, which I guess it's fine because like, you know, it's, it's gonna happen because I got it and it was outside. So other than that, it's doing really well. Like I said, I mean, once this kind of dries up a little bit more, I might just chop it off because it's kind of, you can see it kind of is drying out, but this one's like really, really good. But it's just so weird. Like, they're just such a weird plant. Like, I love it. Like, and it's like kind of tropically, like, I don't know. Hopefully it helps with my fungal gnats. And if it doesn't, that's fine. But yeah, so this is the first gift purchase that I got for March for my birthday. So when I told you that I only got one plant off of my main wish list, I was lying because I got another wishlist plant. So the next plant that I got is this Fatsia Japacana. Oh guys, like, okay, this plant is huge. So I'm gonna back up a little bit. Hi. <laughs> So, um, what do I say about this plant? I really, oh my God. I really don't know a lot about it, but I do love the foliage on it. I love the like kind of star shaped foliage it has. So that kind of gravitated me toward it. I did learn that this plant is more of a outdoor plant. People kind of tend to put these outside. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm up for the challenge to kind of convert this into an indoor plant. I did learn that they like deep shade. Um, we're gonna kind of keep it in probably my dining room area cause it does get some kind of like sun around like six or 7 PM. It gets kind of like dappled light through. So it will still get some good sunlight, but overall it's kind of like medium to low light. You'll notice like, so <laughs> this like leaf after we go to the plant nursery my friend lived right near us and we went over to their house to kind of say hi and we were only in there for maybe 20 30 minutes and i didn't even think of it i had this plant and the pitcher plant and uh we went inside and it's florida it's like 90 degrees outside i came back and this whole plant was wilted some leaves honestly looked like spinach and i'm like damn it so I wound up bringing it back home and giving it a good watering. And I actually only lost like two leaves, but you can see like there's a little bit of damage, like a little bit of browning, but it's totally fine. It's, it's whatever, I mean, it happens. But I did learn that they don't like the heat. So um, <laughs> we'll definitely keep this inside. So that is the last plant, actual plant purchase that I got. My sister had to return something at Target and they had these planters. So this is a like Monstera like planter and it's got drainage guys. When have you ever seen like, like I always get planters and stuff from like Target. Sometimes I get them at TJ Maxx Marshalls. Nine out of 10 times they don't have drainage holes. So I think they're finally listening to us crazy plant parents that are like, please, we need drainage holes. I was really happy that it had a drainage, even though like I'm, I'm starting to get really good. 
the point where I might do a video soon on how to drill pots. Like, <laughs> I'm really excited about that planter. I just don't know what plant to put it in. I don't know what plant to put in there. Yeah, we'll see. But that's it. That is my plant haul for March. So for the month of March, I spent $74 on plants and plant supplies. So that was a little bit over budget, <laughs> like kind of a lot, but it's fine. I mean, there's things that I needed. I did need more pots and you know, it's kind of like my birthday month. So I decided to splurge a little bit. I also wanted to show you guys. So back a couple months ago, I don't, I think it was my January plant haul. I showed you guys a planter that was back ordered. Uh, I got an email about an hour later saying that it was back ordered until March. <laughs> so uh, I will show you guys that in probably March or April. And it actually wound up getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. It's from Urban Outfitters. It was like a really cute self-watering planter. And <laughs> I got a delivery notification all of a sudden that it was here. So here is my, I told you guys I would show it to you when I got it. So here is this Urban Outfitters self watering planter. I'm so excited. Like look how cute this is. Now I have seen a few people say that theirs comes broken and mine kind of did. You can kind of see like on the edges, but it's just on the edges. I really don't want to deal with that again. Like, I don't want to deal with like them sending me a new one and maybe that's back ordered. So I'm just going to keep it. It's totally fine. How cute is this? So I guess the idea of this is because this is terracotta, when you fill this with water, when you put this in, it will absorb through the terracotta. I am on the lookout for a bunch of different self-watering planters because I want to do a kind of a like a test on which is the best self-watering planter. At some point, <laughs> I will be doing that video. I'm trying to kind of do a little bit of research on like popular planters to kind of see like what would be better or what people are buying. And I'll kind of like do like a little test and see which one is the best, which one keeps the plant watered well. So <laughs> keep an eye out for that video at some point. It will come out someday, <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that because I know that I told you guys I would show you when it got here. I was just so bummed. It actually wound up saying that it would be here in September. I wound up pushing back so far. And I'm like, I was kind of like back and forth, like, should I cancel the order or should I keep it? And I'm glad that I did because I have the planter now. <laughs> so that is it for today. Let me know in the comments what kind of plants did you get for the month of March. I hope you guys all have a great day and stay botanical.